so everything I described in my previous video, uh, the inverter, the battery bank, the uh, module, uh, even the generator, um, a lot of it makes noise, some of it uh, generates heat. Uh, the existing system right now is um, inside the cabin, so uh, you know there's a release of uh, some hydrogen gas when the um, batteries are uh, recharging. So my idea is to put absolutely everything into what I'm going to call the power shed. Um, maybe 25 feet from the cabin itself uh, and then just bury the uh, cabling um, under the ground. Uh, there's no vehicles that are going to be driving over that spot of the property and uh, you know it's far enough away that when the generator kicks on and hopefully just hear a slight hum. Uh, I'm going to build a, um, a soundproof box that's got uh, a lot of air movement going through it, uh, separately vented exhaust uh, so that there's no risk of um, you know uh, leaking propane that uh, you know would get ignited by uh, you know the spark of the combustion engine um, going to also have for obvious reasons uh, co2 detector uh, and um, uh, propane leak detector all in one they're uh, just sixty dollar unit well worth it um, at the same time uh, the batteries will be in there uh, they'll be on um, a frame that I plan to weld together um, and I can fit all of this stuff into a footprint as small as six by six. Uh, and I'd also like to put a couple of um, solar panels on the roof of it, um, aiming at a 45 de degree angle, uh, ever so slightly southwest. Uh, currently I have two panels on the roof of the cabin, um, aiming at maybe 170 degrees, very slightly southeast. So I want to compensate for that by uh, having another two panels um, aiming the other way it'll just give the whole charging system a little bit more balance um, haven't decided yet on where the final two panels out of the total of six are going to go so the design will look something like this this is the general shape have a door right here. This angle will be roughly 45 degrees. The pair of panels up top here. And on the inside, we'll park our generator cabinet. We'll have our four batteries along this wall additional four batteries installed above them and on the front wall here we'll have the inverter, the charge controller, um, a uh, load center so that I can hit switches individually isolating certain items so that they can be serviced and um, a couple of statistical generating uh, pieces such as a voltmeter and an ammeter because I'm kind of a stat nerd. I like to know uh, at any given time, you know, how much the solar system is producing. It's, uh, you know, just for my uh, own uh, curiosity. Uh, and at the same time, um, what I plan to buy, the ammeter I plan to buy, will measure uh, backflow, meaning, you know, how much current is the batteries, uh, are they drawing during a charge cycle? Anyway, stuff that I will uh, personally find interesting. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty much it. And um, the back of the generator will be vented from the back of the cab or the um, power shed. And the exhaust and output of the um, airflow will be at the side of the shed. Now, if uh, you look at the orientation of this, um, as it relates to the property, there's method to this. So currently, the cabin faces ever so slightly southeast, so that would be north. Power shed will be 
facing ever so slightly southwest. That's the plan anyway. So that the air intake will be there, exhaust will be there. Uh, I suspect the noisiest part of the whole thing will be the exhaust. So the fact that it's in that direction and our porch is over here means that we will barely hear it. And uh, that's kind of the whole purpose of doing it. Um, the only part of the system that won't be in the power shed but will be located in the cabin is a small um, controller of sorts or uh, I don't know, a master panel of some kind that um, you can monitor uh, and uh, program the system and uh, it'll be located in there. So that's the plan. So we're going to get cracking on building the bits and pieces that we need for this because once that is set up, we can have electricity for the property and we can get cracking on all the projects.